What's up guys? In this video, I am going to review the Insta360 GO3 footage when playing pickleball. Let's get into it. This camera is very similar to the GoPro, but one of the key differences is the detachable camera. This little camera is what makes this camera so unique. The camera comes with a built-in stabilization option, which it does very well. So when using this camera to record your pickleball games, you have three options. Option one is using the camera in the pod and mounting it on a tripod. Here is what that footage looks like. I don't like that I can't zoom in and change the camera angle to a more tighter shot like you can with a GoPro. It feels a little too wide to really see the game at the kitchen line and if you move closer to the court you risk running into it. Now you could shoot at 2.7k and punch it in post like this. So the next option is using the chest mount, which you do so by using this necklace. Here's what the footage looks like. I do like this angle and the footage looks cool. What I don't like about this option is that the camera moves around a lot and it makes it hard to play with it on. So it does take getting used to. The last option is using the hat mount, which the footage looks like this. I love this angle the best. The footage looks good and it's easy to play with the camera on your head. You don't have to worry about it moving around and it feels secure. So you don't risk it falling off either. In conclusion, I would recommend this camera to record your pickleball games if you are a content creator. Overall, it's easy to use and to play with. I wouldn't buy this camera to use for game footage breakdown. It's hard to see the entire court as stated earlier. And because of the camera angle, when you are wearing it, you miss a lot of the fast paced stuff. I don't love that you can't buy micro SD cards for it so you are limited to the amount of memory space you choose to buy. I hope this review was helpful. Let me know your thoughts about this camera in the comments and I'll see you next time. Thanks.